And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. Boy, do we have a great show for you today. Rosie and Jeff Flowers from Sejo Sport Fishing are here. We're going to be talking some fantastic fishing at an amazing resort down on Sejo Island. So you stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. <laughs> Countdown to spring with exhilarating deals on new Yamaha onboards during Yamaha's Power and Performance Sales Event from now until March 31st, 2024. Purchase a new eligible Yamaha 450 to 30 horsepower outboard and get up to seven years of warranty protection and a Siren 3 Pro package to your purchase of a 115 horsepower and up and receive a bonus $1,000 in dealer credit and half off your Siren subscription. Looking for lower horsepower? Yamaha got you covered. Purchase a new Yamaha 25 to 2.5 horsepower outboard and receive up to $2,000 in dealer credit. Reliability starts here. Offerance March 31st, 2024. Subject to change. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Select the models excluded. 24-month Yamaha extended service added a 36 or 60-month factory limited warranty. Choice offered to Florida residents is a 24-month Yamaha limited warranty. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. Cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Everyone has their go-to fishing spot. My spot is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. Rock Cod Rick here to say if you're looking for the ultimate Alaska experience and the best value in Alaska, it's Kingfisher Charters. Owner Seth Bone and his crew consistently deliver deluxe accommodations, the finest food, world-class fish processing, and top-of-the-line fishing experience. We've literally sent hundreds of our listeners to Kingfisher, and they all can't wait to go back. Most Alaska resorts make big promises, and they don't deliver, or they'll nickel and dime you to drive up the cost, but not Kingfisher. Everything is included. Your license, fish processing, super deluxe accommodations, amazing food, airport transfers, your gear, literally all you need to bring is your layer clothing and Kingfisher covers the rest. They also have the finest boats and charter captains in Sitka, all for the ultimate value. Take it from me, book your trip to Kingfisher Charters and you'll thank me. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Welcome you back. Good to have you Thank back you very home much. again. And a yeah. great show today. Man, today's going to be a lot of fun. It's almost yeah. like having family in the studio today. It is family. Rosie it and Jeff family. Flowers from Sedro Sport Fishing. Good morning. Hey guys. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Great to have you. And Thank uh, you. Cedro's, yeah, Sedro Sport Fishing, such an amazing place. You talk about incredible fishing, incredible service. And, and, and you know, while I, I came back, and I'll talk a little bit about it, I came back from Anglos in at Lake Picachos last night with a group and uh, um, including our co-host Corey Sandin who's an amazing fisherman yeah. we'll go through that later <laughs> but um we were going through CBX, and I think Tommy P was the one that commented. It's like, hey, this is a lot harder than when you go with Rosie and say yeah. sport fishing. <laughs> and there was nobody Love there. It. But yeah, it's there like, was no yeah. one there. But, but um, you make everything so easy, Rosie. Yeah, and I think I that's try. What, what it's all about um, at Cedro Sport Fishing. Yeah, I, I try. You know, it's like we've evolved. 
And, you know, when we first started the whole drive down to Ensenada, it just wasn't working for us. And, uh, man, you guys were the one that suggested the CBX, and it couldn't it couldn't go any better. Yeah. You know, and we dialed it in to suit us. And, um, you know, I'm kind of a little OCD, and I want everybody to... You know, be able to, to go through there and not have a worry in the world. I think sometimes people are afraid to go into Mexico. Yes. Or I get a lot of call from spouses, you know, are they safe? And it's like, safe, safe can be. Safe, you know? safe can be. Absolutely. Sure. And, yeah. and just we got it dialed in. It's like, I always tell everyone, look, I hold your hand on this side of the border and I got a concierge service that holds your hand on the other side of the border. How do you pull, it's how do you crazy. pull that off? You do such a good you job. You know, the, the thing, thing was is you just keep asking questions you just when we got into the cbx and there was one guy in the cbx that really helped me out and i said what can i do in the tijuana airport to make sure that our peeps are golden and he goes oh well let me set you up with so-and-so and And it's like great and then got with that so-and-so jose duran and it's like okay jose this is what i'm looking for can you do that and i i don't think the angle, I don't even know if you guys know this, but I have worked so closely with them that, you know, once you get across that 390 foot sky bridge, you probably don't even know it, but, um, Hugo's taking a picture of you saying, I got him. Wow. You know, before you guys leave, I don't think you even know, I count all the rod bundles. And I want Jose, he, or Jose and, and Hugo, they take a picture of the rod bundles. Yes, got 11. Yes, got 12. I mean, the whole way through. Um, I know, I know where you're eating and what you're drinking. <laughs> I know when the Aerotram car is delivering you to the airplane. I know when the airplane is taking off. I wow. get pictures. There's, you know, certain little spots along the way where I want to know what's going on. And you're not flying Valeris or Aeromexico. You're flying your own chartered air. Aircraft. Correct. And, you know, ASG, we've been working so closely with them over the last eight years. And, um, you know, they've supported us and we support them. And cool. they've been able to buy two brand new Cessna Grand Caravans, nice. of which we, you have some we get utilize, one. Yeah. We get one. So they set that one aside for us. And then I usually get my pick of pilots, too. I'll either pick Leon or Manuel. I like those guys. That's so cool. And the Cessna so Grand cool. Caravan is a perfect plane for that because you guys have six rooms with 12 passengers. Yep. It holds a lot of cargo. Yep. And it's the workhorse of yeah, small yeah. airplanes. It's yeah. the F-250. Right? Yeah, it you know, is. It is. Pole, man. You know, I, Jeff and I in the evening, sometimes you know, we're sitting down watching TV and Jeff loves to channel surf. And, you know, like we, we were watching some show flying Alaska and it's like, Hey, that's a Cessna Grand Caravan. Or we were watching something in Africa. Hey, that's a Cessna Grand Caravan. It's like you see you these You start things. to recognize them. Yes. Because yeah. you recognize the and, belly of that aircraft. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not a pilot, but I'm told by pilots of, of small aircraft that it's one of the safest, safest. planes in the plane. In the and, air yep. Too. yep yeah, absolutely. So even, this is, even though it's a single engine, it's yeah. one of the safest. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so, so very blessed. So that's just covering getting there and getting back. What about being there. Oh my gosh. You know, many moons ago I would hear people say old world Mexico. Yeah, old school. Well, yeah. Now I know I know what it is and it's Cedros Island. Yeah. And it's that proverbial mi casa, su casa and our crew there treat you like family. And there's so many people that have been going down for so many years that have made such amazing friendships with either our Ponga captains or the yeah. crew there. I have I have customers that get invited to Ponga captains homes for dinner. That's cool. And it's just the friendships that are made and it is it is literally Old world Mexico, you know. People ask, "Hey, what can my wife do on the island?" I said, "Oh my gosh, absolutely nothing." <laughs> you, you know, there, there's there's no movie theater, there's no spa. I said, I, "I could probably set her up with a manicure," you know. But it's like, you know, if, if if they love to read and they love to look through their magazines, grab them and maybe take them out in the morning for a couple hours. They can go back to the lodge yeah. and sit up on the balcony on the patios and. Watch the uh, dolphin want, play. If and you want to hang out, let the world go by slow. It's a perfect place. That is. Yes. Sleepy, yeah. sleepy little town. And what do you love it. about it, Jeff? <laughs> uh, everything. <Yeah. laughs> it's the uh, the experience. Completely different than anything you're going to find here in the States. Yeah. And um, just getting down there and taking that first breath when you get off the plane. Totally. And the air is, is warm, and it's a desert scene, and... 
you got a bunch of people with you that are excited about fishing, the cooler full of beer, you know, before you even get in the van to head down to the lodge. Um, it, it's just an amazing experience. It, and once you go once, because every time you do something the first time, there's always that, you know, what do I expect? What's going to go wrong? How do I prepare for that? And once you go once, you're over that, and you are so jazzed about the next time you're going because you got how easy Rosie has made this and how much fun it is to fish down there and just totally chill. I can't tell you how many customers I've had at the tackle store that they'll come in to get ready because they're going fishing with Rosie, and they say, oh, this, is my, this is my bucket list trip. And I was like, man, this is, that is the wrong description of this place because a, a bucket list trip is something you do one time before you kick the bucket. Yeah. Like, I guarantee you we're just getting we're just going to get your gear started for this trip knowing that we're going to, you know, when you, go, when you go and love it so much that next year that that's when we'll add this, that, and that. Like, it's, it is such a cool experience. Experience. It's it is not it's a one. It's so easy, and and it's just it provides every single time. Like yeah. the consistency is amazing of it across the board of the fishing, of the service, of the food, of the people. Like the experience every yes. time. It's crazy. You know, I've been working the the trade shows right now, and I can't tell you how many times I hear someone say, "Oh, this is on my bucket list," and I say the exact same thing. It's like, yeah, I hear that all the time, but once you go once, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll usually be back and then i also you know people are like i I love it when they say well i i hope we catch fish (laughs) and i I just have to laugh and it's like i was like well for me i said it's not if you catch fish i said my goal is i want to know how many personal bests you get on the trip i had a gentleman last year that had Day one, his personal best yellowtail. Day two, he had his personal he best yellowtail. And so, and by day four, he had his personal best yellowtail, and it had gone up to 44 pounds. And that same day, 44 got, pound yellowtail? And that same day, he caught a 44 pound white sea bass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cool. wow. Oh my gosh. It was it. just amazing. And the, and the cool thing is, as I'm sure Rick will attest to this, is the ways you can catch them. Oh, different way, yeah, right? Totally. That, that fishery does not cease to amaze. Me. Yeah. It just never ceases. And, and of all skill sets, you know what I mean? Like if you wanted to go down there and be a hardcore guy and be Jeff and catch him on the surface iron the entire time you can, <laughs> or if you wanted, you know, if you were going with somebody, if you were taking a grandson or somebody that was not proficient and you wanted to slow troll a mackerel, yeah. you'll catch them the same yeah. way. I mean, troll a Rapala, fish them on a yo-yo jig, catch them on your bass rod like Corey likes. All of the above, yes. you'll yep. catch a limited yellowtail doing all those things. Exactly. You could literally pick the way you wanted to do it in 90% of the trips and you're going to be just as effective the whole time. You know, that's funny because I, I get that question a lot. Well, like, well, are we going to make bait? I said, well, do you want to? You know, are we going to do surface iron? Well, do you want yeah, to? I totally. said, look, you got to understand, this is your trip. Yeah. You need to figure out what you want to do on your trip and you let the Ponca captain know, hey, I want to do yellowtail in the morning and then maybe go try to get some halibut and calico bass. It's your trip. So cater to what you want to do. That's cool. Yeah, and and, and safety. People always go. Some people. I mean, we travel a lot in Mexico. We take it for granted that we know it's not an issue traveling yeah. down there. It just. I just came back last night, and yeah, it's it's not an issue. Uh, but Cedros is safer because it's so isolated. It's, an, right? so it's isolated. an island. Yeah. And not only that, but it's like, you know, you're going across that sky bridge. Yeah. You know, it's very safe. I tell people all the time, look, it's like when you went to the fairgrounds when you were kids and you went onto the bumper car ride. Yeah. You can bounce off each other. You can bounce off the walls, but you can't get out till the ride's over. Yeah. It's the same thing there. And someone scoops you up and basically delivers you to the airplane and... You know, hour and 45 minutes, yeah. you're on Cedros Island, and there we are again, sleepy little old world Mexico. I know people will always be hesitant, but I wish there was a way to just show show somebody who says it. It is, it is easier than you're describing. You're describing the easiest thing there is to get onto that plane, and it's somehow easier still than that. I have two new videos going in the booth this year. That's cool. So, uh, And both of them, I was like... Uh, I it just, just I look at it. The I whole just, experience. It yeah. really does. Yeah. yeah. We had yep. a, the last trip. I second to last trip. I went down. I had surgery on my knee before we had left. And as we were walking across the sky bridge, there was a lady pushing a wheelchair. Um, actually, it was a ride along one, I guess. And she saw me, and she came over and she asked me if I wanted a ride. That's yeah. So I didn't want to embarrass her and say no. So I obliged. 
and uh, they got cool. me all the way into the customs area. That's rad. And it was like, man, that was that was even better. I didn't have to walk. Yeah, <laughs> how cool is that? You walk the 350 feet or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so uh, you just finished the two Bart Hall shows, Long Beach yes. and Del Mar, uh-huh. and now you have PCS coming up. We do. Busy. I know you booked a lot of people. Are there any spots available? Yeah, you know what? We we did book some people, but you know, we had a couple situations this year, and there, there was one where in the middle of August, I had a group going, and real core group of friends, um, friends that have been, I mean, lifelong friends, for like, they're all 40-year buddies, and one of the guy's son is getting married that week, and so they're like, everybody's going, so they call and said, can we just, you know, switch our trip? To, can you add us on to the, the last trip of the year? It's like, yeah. So we just, you know, did that. But now I got a week in the middle of August, prime time, oh, oh, prime how time. Cool in the middle how cool of is that? Middle of August. I think I have like seven or eight spots on it. So yeah. Everyone calls me and says, I want to go in August, and I have to say, sorry, I have nothing available. Well, yeah. guess what, guys? Now I got you. something you have available. seven spots available on yes. this one trip. Oh, that's, that's Dates are? Uh, August 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, okay, so it's a five And a five, It's, six it's day a six-day trip. trip, and it's the same time that Jeff and Zach are down there, just at Lodge 1. This one's at Lodge 2. Oh, wow. Well. Man, I would say, if you're savvy, book that thing with you now, now. because guaranteed those spots will be gone uh, from PCS. <laughs> Absolutely. But you know, because there'll just be people in the booth. That'll be the spot, man. If you want that, scoop that thing up right yeah, now. That is prime, exactly. prime time. Scoop it up now. Plus, if you go, you might have bragging rights and go to, hey, Jeff, we caught more fish yeah, than you. Yeah. That's right. Bring your that best game. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, describe, you mentioned it. Lodge 1, Lodge 2. Of course, yeah. the original Lodge, um, great place. Then you added Lodge 2. Describe the differences and what people like and what who's going back to what Lodge. Right. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm going to say this, and it's just it is what it yeah. is. So I have a group that has been going down in June to Lodge One for quite some time. Um, they are the EPI Construction Group, um, great group of contractors, and and they take their guests with them. But I, these guys are all like six two, six three, six four, and um, so last year I suggested that maybe we put them at Lodge Two, and the owner said, "Well, why?" And I said, "Because you guys are all so tall. I, I want you to be able to sit down on the potty, okay?" <laughs> you know, <'cause> the lodge, <laughs> okay, just saying it, because you know Lodge Two, the rooms are a little bit bigger. The bathrooms are a little bit bigger. Um, the other nice thing about Lodge 2 is it is all flat. So, um, you know, sometimes as we get older, oh, we sure. have some knee and hip issues. Sure. And Especially maybe, after fishing in a pond all day. Exactly. Sure. And so Lodge 2 is all flat. And um, every bedroom has a sliding glass door that goes out to the upper patio. You're all sitting together up on, a, on an upper patio. So if you're, you know, taking a group um, like like this gentleman was of all the contractors that he works with and entertaining them, you're all in one spot. That's cool. It's all shaded and um, it's just all very well contained and um, works out well. Now I got a lot of people that have been going to Lodge One for 15 years and they love their Lodge One because that's home to them. Totally. And You know, there's a couple little different seating areas up there, depending on where you want to sit. You know, if you want to be up on the uh, upper deck by the the fire pit and looking out, or if you want to be on the little swing and have a moment to call your husband or wife and and look out over, you know, the harbor. Um, Both have great meals. Both have their own kitchens. They're both run separately, separately but together. You know, they keep in constant contact with each other to see, you know, is there anything that lodge wants? One needs or anything that Lodge Two needs. They each have their own host and or hostess, so um, they each have their own, you know, um, uh, cleaning crew. So wow, yeah. And how close are they to each other? You know, if, if you're pretty good at softball or baseball, you could probably. If you can cast like Ricky, yeah. you could cast a, a surface eye. Okay, so, right. yeah. so you share the same fish processing facility. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the only thing that's really shared. That is. Other, other than just that is. Over, you overseeing yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. So so either choice is, is a great choice. Either choice is and a then, great and, choice. And, and, then, and then 
when you go, you go, well, I like Lodge 2 better. Well, I like Lodge 1 better. You yeah. can, I'm sure you have people like that. Right? I do. The, the one thing that Lodge 2 has that Lodge 1 doesn't have is that we have two bedrooms up there that have three beds. Uh-huh. So a lot of times, you know, you get I get I get groups that there's three guests uh-huh. and they really one doesn't want to be split up. Right. They want to stay together. So then I'll suggest Lodge 2. If I don't have anything there at Lodge 2 and I got something at Lodge 1, a lot of times we can take a bed out of one of the rooms and put it in the suite. Mm-hmm. Where it's a little bit bigger and it, it works out. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, so Lodge Two has two bedrooms with three beds. All right. Well, as you can hear, we have a lot to talk about here with Sedro Sport Fishing, Rosie and Jeff. I mean, we could talk about it for the whole show, yeah. Pete and I, just because of so many fond yeah. memories. It's such a great spot, and we're looking forward to hearing from you. It's such a great time here with Rosie and Jeff talking Cedro Sport Fishing, and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Give us a call this morning at two one three four three two ten ninety. You can already tell what a popular day today's going to be because our phone lines are already packed up but we do have one line still open if you want it one line at 213-432-1090 also you can send us a text lots of great texts already rolling through this morning if you want to send us a text that option is only available through the let's talk up app it's a free download easy way to listen to the show easy way to catch all the archive shows if you want to hear one of the great uh, shows we had last weekend you can dial it up or if you want to catch a rad tip from jeff here at the during today's show and you want to go back and re-listen you can catch all of that through the let's talk hookup app and again it's the only way that you can text in your questions also make sure that you include your contact info when you send in your text because you're going to be eligible to win the great prize at the end of the show today and we are giving away such a cool prize for today's show so this is available to every caller or every texter who makes it on the air and how it's going to go is at the end of the show we're going to flip a coin and that coin is going to designate whether the winner comes from the caller side or the texter side and one lucky person is going to win a full day trip going fishing on board the San Diego at a C4 Sport Fishing and you're going to get two tickets to go to the PCS show at the OC Fairgrounds in Costa Mesa, March 7th through the 10th. How cool is that? Awesome, awesome Pretty prize. Awesome. You got it, man. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls, reading those texts again, 213-432-1090. When we come back, it's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio and that Let's Talk Hookup app. Hello, anglers. This is Tim with Friends of Rollo, and we are kicking off the new year with another great promotion. Bill Batson and his team have once again donated six amazing custom rods that you could be fishing with this season. These rods are all one of a kind and built with rain shadow rod blanks and Alps rod components. Captain Rollos will be giving away these beautiful works of art in the Batson booth at the PCS show on March 10th. Entering the drawing is easy. When you buy five $10 Rollo Grand Raffle tickets, you will get one entry into the Batson Custom Rod Drawing. To purchase tickets, please email win at rollokids.org or call Tim at 951-264-7382. Our thanks go out to Batson Enterprises for once again making this promotion possible. Thank you to everyone for your support of the Rollo program and good luck. When you want dependable service for your outboard or a new or used boat, your first choice should be H&H Marine at their new location, near where the 5 and 805 freeway meets. North County, Central, or South, the new H&H Marine is near you. They also have added an amazing lineup of boats for both fishing and pleasure cruising, like Barletta and Godfrey pontoon boats and hurricane runabouts, all on display. Defiance fishing boats and many used boats are available, too, along with Yamaha and Mercury Outboard Sales and Service. Speaking of service, Jeff and his crew have you covered. As a factory-authorized Yamaha and Mercury Service Center, H&H Marine will be sure the job is done right. They have Blue Water Baytech, both cells and expert installation, as well as Tachycat inflatables. The perfect tender for your boat. For outboard cells and service, pontoon boats, fishing boats, and bait tank systems, check out H&H Marine at their new location, 10685 Roselle Street in San Diego. Check out hhmarinesd.com. 
The PCS show is coming, and we will have our best ever booth at the show. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Check us out in the wildly popular saltwater building at the PCS show in Costa Mesa, where we will have some amazing deals for you on rods, reels, lures, and clothing. Everything at the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth will be on sale. And as always, our expert staff will help you select that perfect setup for the fish you want to pursue. For saltwater tackle at the PCS show, your best stop is the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. Want to take your catch from fresh to superior grade? This is Robbie Gant from AFCO. We develop the tools for the EKGMA process. Circuit Breaker is specially designed to disable the full length of the fish's spinal cord. The memory-resistant wire of AFCO Circuit Breaker will not bend or kink, even after repeated use. Take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Available at a dealer near you or check out AFCO.com. Like Robbie said, take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Check AFCO.com or your favorite tackle retailer. The lighter the bite and the cleaner the water means one thing. We need a thinner leader for more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader-shy fish. With exceptional knot and tinsel strength, this advanced leader material is now available from 2-pound test for fishing trout in the Sierra to 80-pound test for big yellowfin in Guadalupe. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Well, that didn't take long. Absolutely every single every. phone line is plugged full. Lots of great tech standby. It's going to be a lot of fun talking CJ Sport Fishing today. Captain Bob Fletcher is listening hey, to us. Hey, good morning, Dart. And, and Dart has a question for you, Rosie. Oh. says, I'd like to have a glass of wine or two before dinner. How can I do that at Cedro Sport Fishing? Oh, boy. I tell you what. That's the easiest one ever. <laughs> either, either with a glass or a bottle. Yeah, I was just going to say you could drink right from the bottle if you like. But we do have wine glasses. So, you know, I get this question asked a lot. People sure. want to know, because we all enjoy our cocktails, yeah. you know, what's available on the island? Wine is not. And that is definitely something that for each of us is very personal. I know it is for me. I know what reds I like. I know what whites I like. Right. And we bring them with us. Just throw them in your bag. Yeah, throw them in your bag. Because put a little wrap around them. You don't um, have to worry about carrying it on or anything because nope. you don't have to go through nope. um, security. That's well, and you know what? Because you're on a private aircraft. And you know what? And Hugo takes care of all of that. So, you know, even, even if you want, you know, your certain beer, my husband... You know, he really loves his certain type of beer. I suggest take the beer down in cans. And remember all those coolers that I have that your fish comes back in? And I'm not using the cooler bag for a cooler, but I'm using the bag to put maybe a case of beer in or a 12-pack of beer in or maybe some cut waters or whatever. Um, so if there's something special you want, definitely take it with you. Um, if you have a good bottle of booze, I always say maybe put a little good wrap on it, a bubble wrap or something, and stick it in the middle of your duffel bag between your T-shirts, and uh, yeah, it, it, you're good to go. But again, no security, so you don't have to worry about carrying on liquids, right? Yeah, you know, you I mean... Carry them on, but you can check them on. You can check, check them, them on. on. Yeah, Hugo yeah. takes care of all of that because you're still going through TSA. Oh, you are going. You do TSA. have to okay. go through TSA. Uh, so. But but there's but but checking them on, no okay, problem whatsoever. So you whatsoever. can check, check yeah. them in your bag. Because I'm the same thing. I like to have a rum and coke when I'm done fishing at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah. And sometimes you can buy that on the island, but sometimes you can't. And so why worry about it? I like to I like to have a, a rum and coke at the end of the day of fishing. So I just bring a bottle with me. And Absolutely. I, throw up my, I do exactly what Rosie said. I I do one little wrap, a bubble wrap on it. It's in the middle of my bag where my clothes are at, and that's that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and... You know, it's like, it's like you said, it's like, you know, sometimes you may or may, it may not be on the island. Remember, we are on a remote island. Mm -hmm. Things don't just appear. You know, they have to get down there by barge normally through Guerrero Negro. Um, and sometimes, you know, things go down on the, on the plane. But, you know, there's been times, God forbid, and thank God it hasn't been often that the island's out of beer. And if and when I find out the island's out of beer, Ooh. I will call the next trip and say, "Bring beer, bring beer, bring your beer." I'll yeah. get because, but yeah. that's not often. Oh, maybe maybe once a year, once every a year every other happens. year. But, but, but you know, the good thing is because of her relationship, not only with the airline but also in in um, in Sonata, she'll get a hold of uh, Luis, Luis, and he'll run to Costco in Ensenada. 
and get the booze you need right. and put it on the next plane that's going to fly out to the island. Wow. Now, we don't like doing that, but we, well, Rosie it, it, does. It can, and can be done. Yes, okay. The, the, the same charter that I was telling you about, about all the guys that are six, two, three, and 4, they had, two years ago, they had taken down some wine to go with dinner. Um, well, needless to say, that wine was gone the first night. <laughs> the, so, the wine for their trip. Was emergency, their trip. Yeah. emergency. So, yeah, 911, call Rosie. Can you get us any wine? And so funny, it was a Tuesday, so I called Luis and then Sonata. I said, Luis, I said, you go get me 24 bottles of good wine and get it on the plane tomorrow in Ensenada because the plane goes down Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So when they came back from uh, fishing, That's they so had rad. 24 bottles of wine that came from that, you know, the there's a great little wine region down. Oh, yeah. It, sure. Yeah, so we, we sent yeah, down some good wine, wine, and they were happy as clams. You're That's cool. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Or, you know, even when, like, Ricky and Dallas go, and we set up a cute little room for them. Like, there's <laughs> things that, you know, flying in roses from Ensenada oh. for them and stuff like that. It's amazing what we can pull off. We went uh, the tr- right after Dallas and I got engaged. Dallas and I went on a trip down there, and Rosie had, like, the flower petal bed and a bottle of champagne like, oh in our room. Yeah, it, was, it was a very, wow. ro- very rosy touch. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> That's cool. Well, hey, phones are packed. They want to talk to Rosie and Jeff, so let's jump into it. Rick. Every single phone line full right now. Let's start it off with Jerry. He's called us from Dana Point this morning. Jerry, good morning. Thanks for getting started here on Let's Talk Hook Up. Hi. How are you guys doing? Thank you for Hi, Jerry. Uh, taking my call. Uh, first question I have is that uh, broad length, what can I bring on board? Can I bring like uh, nine footer, eight footers? What? Well, you know, Ricky, yeah. he, Ricky loves to bring his 10-footer. I got a lot of guys that do bring 10-footers. So, you know, um, that's all fine there. So, um, and how you package them with us is, you know, no rod tubes on the plane. But everyone has their own little quirks on how they bundle them together. And um, But, yeah, 10-footers can go. That, that's always one of my favorite parts about this trip is you're just not limited on that. And I know that you don't need necessarily to have this length or that, but, like, you like to fish with what you fish with at home, and, and that's what I really like to use. And so, yeah, no, no problem if you want to bring a, a full-length Long rod, man, bring it. Nope, no problem. You're not you're not limited by that on the plane. Exactly. I believe you're allowed five rods and reels, is that right? You know what? With five us because and... we are our own chartered aircraft, oh. not like before where we were buying seats on a plane. We're not limited to oh. anything now. Okay. There's no extra cost for if you want to take a certain amount of rods over three. Um, you certainly don't need more than three, three. or four, yeah. really. Um, but, you know, I do have guys. I got some real gear heads and tackle heads out there that bring them. They like to bring five or six. What about what are the limitations on bags? We're talking about, you know, wine and beer and stuff like that. Are there weight limits on what you're allowed to bring? Yeah. So everyone gets 72 pounds of coming and a going. Wow. And if you if you that includes your backpack and your, that includes that's everything. The, your carry-on, not so much, but not I so make sure carry-on. that everyone limits what their actual carry-on, because this is not the type of aircraft where there's overhead storage. Gotcha. Okay, so you yeah, need to. It's going to sit in your lap. It's going to sit in your lap. It's going to sit on the floor, um, but you get 72 pounds of coming in and going. And I know that you know if if done properly, you can get down there between 35 and 35, 30 to 33 to 35 pounds of tackle and clothing. Okay, um, so you get to bring home about forty pounds of fish. Wow! But I tell everyone, look, I say we're a lodge. Okay, we have the soap and the shampoo and the mm-hmm. towels and the bed linens and pillows and stuff like that. You so do you don't, laundry. We do laundry. Exactly. You don't so, need to bring that many clothes. No. So you know, three pairs of shorts, three shirts. You always need a sweatshirt, hoodie, or jacket, hat, sunscreen, sunglasses, toothpaste, toothbrush. Call it a day. You don't need your extra tough fishing boots like you were going on no. a long range. Um, you know, most people fish in either, you know, sneakers, flip flops. There's a few of us that will be going barefoot, honestly, or sometimes Every I just time. wear my socks. You know, so I got lots of pictures of, of a lot of us, you know, we're not wearing extra tux, tufts. I know Jeff likes his shorties. He does bring those. Um, 
But, you know, those are way a whole lot less than the extra yeah, cut long range. Yeah, for sure. So. Hey, um, along that same line, Rory in Lakeside has, says, Good morning. Like Sedro that, Sport Fishing is a pinnacle of my bucket list trips. Again, it doesn't have to be the bucket yeah, list. Yeah, Rory. That's all right. The Only the first yeah. time, Rory. It's everything that I dream about and, and a dream trip. I know yellowtail sea bass, calico bass, halibut fishing is phenomenal. How about bottom fishing there? I'd love to throw link cod and some reds in the cooler when I make it down there thanks super excited for today's show you know i think i've only in sorry in eight years i've only seen one lean con and i think he lost his way or something <laughs> you know um have you seen they any gotta have no, them. No. Uh, there's a there's a few high spots that um on the lee side of the island that we've fished for rockfish and they're usually the gold spot bass or pintos um some oh. starries but it's not like you're going to go out to 250 feet and, and rock fish yeah um, but, 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 it's pretty shallow when i went there i rock fish and i had fun because i love rock fishing yes. right? right we caught a lot of fish yeah rock fishing you know and like you say there's a, lo- a drop off you just go out to the drop off and yep. and fish uh you know reds and, and different the, cod and stuff like that? The common range of vermilion rockfish is the north end of Cedros. Like, yeah. that's where everybody says, the, right. not, like, obviously, like, some are going to trickle down below that, but everybody right. says, like, where, where you draw the line for how far south our vermilion rockfish goes, it's the north end of Cedros Island. Like, yeah. Obviously, there are going to be some below that, but yeah. that's that's about. But there's a lot of other it. rock. Oh, fish absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. grouper, you know, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I will yeah. tell you though, I do have you know for fish processing, I do have stickers that do say rockfish and ling. But down you don't. There. But not a lot of people do it. Not a lot of people do it. Okay, but if you want to do it, and, and your rest of your group wants to do it, then go for it. Do it. Go out and that's the, the nice off. thing about it. It's your trip. You do what you want to do. Yeah. If you want to go for the rockfish and the lane cod, you make it known to your Ponga captain, and they'll do their best for you. All right. We've, uh, just for an anecdotal story, we've had a day where we had 18 different species. Yeah. Of fish. Jeez. So, at Cedros. At Cedros. Yes. In one day. Wow. In one day. Yeah. Such so, as? i uh, start naming them off between starting off with bait fish, you know, so you go to sardine and mackerel, sheephead, um... There was yellowtail, calicos. We went out and fished. We had a couple of triggers. We had the starries. We had, you know, we had halibut. A of, halibut. There was a uh, a black and a white that was caught. Uh, black, black and white and, sea bass. Yeah, yeah gold turn spot. Those, turn those back. Uh, Broomtail. A lot of just a lot of the. You turn the white sea bass back? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the black. Yeah. Yeah. The white sea bass was. Um, yeah, it was already being donated to dinner that night. Ah, <laughs> so, gotcha. But um, then we just made our way around and we caught. Ended up catching a couple dorado and then we ended up coming back and fishing some more halibut and it was just tuna. We just kept just. It was just phenomenal. I mean, we even caught barracuda. You know, it was and Benito. 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 Yeah. 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 I mean, right. it's anything and everything you catch in Southern California, it's there, and you can do it all in one day. Wow. Pretty phenomenal. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Rick, you have a good one there? Uh, sure. Yeah. This is, uh, hey, guys, Rosie, can you give us some tips and tricks on packing for your trip? Uh, more specifically, what not to bring, what stuff is critical. Um, give us another rundown on weight restrictions and rules. That's all from Brian and Wildemar. Okay. So, again, the 72 pounds are coming in and going. And, you know, as far as t- taking stuff down there, you know, you need what you need. But there's a lot of things you just don't need. It's like, you know, you don't pack for a 10-day trip when you know that, you know, you want to bring some fish home. And again, it's like, depending on the season, you know, in June, you still might need a pair of jeans. And maybe in October, you might, but probably not. You know, it's like, you know, the shorts, the t-shirts, a sweatshirt. Or replace those jeans with like a pair of like AFTCO like fishing yes. pants. Those like lightweight that if it's a little cool or if it's a little damp in the morning, like replace a pair of Levi's that might weigh a pound or two with something that weighs a half a pound. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Or, or those AFTCO sweatpants too. Yeah. That's AFTCO has a new pant called the Honcho pant. Oh, and yeah. It's the one. It's, the, it's what everybody will have. It's super lightweight. It, it's not waterproof. But, like, bait tank splash is going to beat up and roll off of it. Blood doesn't stain. And you can, like, roll it up into a ball that's, like, the size of a tennis ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. They're really, yeah. really nice. You know, and, and then, again, it's like you talk about the weight. It's like, you know, when you go on a long-range boat, you have these heavy-duty tackle boxes. Right. And you don't need that you Don't here. bring your big SKB Yeah, don't trip. bring. Exactly. So it's like and you go get a soft-sided bag. Or even I got some guys that just... Um, 
they just bring Plano boxes in a in a nice little duffel bag mm-hmm. or that's what I do. Yeah, and yeah. so it's like you know you know bring a, a your few favorite jigs, you know blue and white and mint. That's always good to go, and uh, some some swim baits and some good line. You got to bring heavy line. Just gonna say that right now. <laughs> bring heavy line. You're, you're not gonna catch. You don't anything. need to fish twelve or fifteen. Oh pounds. my no. goodness, no. <laughs> no. So or twenty pounds. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. And remember the. You do if you want to burn through a lot of lead heads. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> your fishing rods. Do not count towards that seventy-two pounds. Oh, they don't. Okay. They do not. That's so, a, and that's was, very that's important very because, important. you know, I get eight hundred and sixty-four pounds in the belly of that aircraft. I divide that amongst twelve people, and that's where I get the seventy-two pounds. Okay. Gotcha. But your fishing rods actually go in the center of the aisle inside the aircraft okay. with you. Yeah. So it's basically your clothes and your your tackle and your reels. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So. All right. If there's that's a concern good. on. T- Tackle. There are some available at the lodge, and there's also a tackle store in, on the island, and it's pretty well stocked. Very good. So if you if you think uh, you forget something or you don't yeah. want to bring something, you need it. Yeah, it's yeah. there. It's there. And you know, you go once, and I, I get I hear this all the time. You know, they go, they come back, and they're like. I didn't use half the stuff in my tackle box. Yeah. I said, well, now you know how to prepare for the next time you go. For sure. Hey, Rick, let's jump into the phones. You got it, man. They're packed up. This time we're going to talk to Jim. Jim's called us from National City this morning. Hey, Jim, thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, uh, Rosie and Jeff and Rick and Pete. Good morning. Um, good, morning good morning, Jim. Rosie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, when I was wondering on... <laughs> You know, I don't walk as good as I used to. You know, I mean, I still I don't have a wheelchair or anything like that. But um, I was talking to uh, Tommy P. Is there some concern uh, with stairs there as far as mobility? I'm not worried about logs one or two. I'm sure I could walk that. Uh, no problem. I mean, I could walk, but it's just not like it was 10 years ago. Yeah, you know, you know what? But, well, no uh, worries. We got you covered. Um, you know, the only stairs that um, would be a concern, and I've, I've taken care of this one, too, is if you need to get down to the Ponga, you do have to take stairs down to the Ponga. But we have a large dock crew that is there um, getting all of your gear, tackle, lunches, coolers on board the Pongas. And anyone that might need a little extra help, they are there for you, standing on each side and making sure that you get safely onto that Ponga. Once you're on the Ponga, obviously you know you're on on the water and you're constantly moving. Um, you know, in the stern of each ponga is a very large bench seat, padded bench seat. You know, have a seat. You know, I've got a few gentlemen that they actually um, fish from the stern from that seat. You know, if they if they feel comfortable standing up, they will. But if they don't feel comfortable standing up, they can just have a seat. Wow. All right. There you go. Thanks a lot for the call, Jim. And when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. We're going to be taking more of your phone calls. we got catch reports coming up and a whole lot more with Rosie and Jeff. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Cookup on the Mighty Year 1090 ESPN Radio. Back in 1979, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They lived in a VW van in the parking lot and sold catamaran sailboats. And over the years, the shop has evolved. They've sold everything from windsurfers to barbecues, paddle boards, and trailers. Here's the point. For over 40 years, my parents, and eventually me, my brother Jared, and sister Ava, have been in the business of fun and making memories on the water with friends and family. If something's in the shop, it's a product we use, are passionate, and knowledgeable about, and want to share with you. We encourage you to come down to our shop, Fast Lane Kayaking, on Mission Bay, and check out our huge selection of Hobie Mirage kayaks, accessories, and more. And let's get you on the water, fishing with friends, enjoying the coast with your family, or exploring mountain lakes in solitude. In other words, having fun and making memories. I've had the opportunity to fish many places in many different types of water, but never have I fished a place as much fun as Katmai Lodge in Alaska. Hello, my name is Harold Davis, typically fishing in the ocean, but this is an experience that you have to try for yourself. 
fish natural rivers with tens of thousands of fish coming up. And they have all the gear, spinning, bait casting, fly rods, kings, silvers, pinks, sockeyes, and my favorite, the chums. Outstanding food, outstanding accommodations, great service. The lodge is located in the beautiful Katmai National Park, filled with amazing wildlife. Brown bears, moose, eagles, otters, and it has spectacular scenery. And also the fact that the lodge is located right on the Alagnac River and your boat is just steps away from your room makes it great. Do yourself a favor, call Charmel at 1-800-330-0326 or go online, catmy.com. And like Pete says, they will hook you up. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. In San Diego, the future belongs to everyone. So Ford engineered the truck of the future for everyone. The Ford F-150. Available with a pro-power onboard generator. What a great addition for anglers. There's also a variety of cab configurations for whatever you need to haul. The truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's created for us who love the ocean and the outdoor life. Ford F-150. Test drive one at your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Season long range fishermen know that the Red Rooster 3 is the finest fishing vessels in terms of technology, design, speed, comfort, and safety. This 105 foot sport fishing yacht meets every demand for comfort while delivering an unforgettable fishing vacation. Captain Andy Kate and crew are experienced, friendly, and sincere in their desire to help you have the trip of a lifetime. Book a trip on the Red Rooster 3 and you'll be back. Trips go fast. So check redrooster3.com or call Lee Palm Sport Fisheries at 619 224 3857. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Boy, no surprise, the phone lines are still absolutely full. Having a great time here this morning. Want to remind you, this portion of the show, hey, if you like fishing for tuna and you're not using gamakatsu hooks, boy, you are missing bites. And the same certainly goes for Cedros Island. Fishing that uh, octopus 4X hook or that uh, nautilus circle in a larger size for your mackerel fishing, whether it be for sea bass or for yellowtail, perfect size. They also offer the HD hook, which is tough enough and not too oversized of a gauge wire when it comes to fishing and big fish. Both come in ringed or non-ringed version. You can see your local dealer or check gamakatsu.com for more information. All right. Phones are packed. Let's jump back into it, Rick. You got it, man. Packed. They absolutely are. This time we're going to talk to Tom. Tom's calling from San Diego this morning. Hey, Tom. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing? Great. Hey, Tom, how are you? Any... I'm super. I just want to call in and say hi to Rosie. She's a, she's one of the two sweetest women on the waterfront, Lori over at American Angler being the other. And nobody knows more about fishing than those two. And Jeff, you know, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that you're right. She uh, she is a gem. And uh, and you mentioned one of my other favorite people, Lori. Yep. Oh, yeah. You got that right. Yeah, for sure. Good call, Tom. Yeah. Hey, Tom, thanks a lot for that. We appreciate that very much. Hey, I have a great text here. From Tom in Thousand Palms, he says, Rosie, do you offer payment plans for a trip to Cedro Sport Fishing? Absolutely, 100%. Um, that, that, one of my probably my most que- questions that I ever get asked. And, you know, I always tell everyone when, when they're making their initial deposit that we would appreciate a thousand dollar deposit mm-hmm. but you know what you need to also live within your means and whatever you are most comfortable with um we make a payment plan and you know you can pay me i have one guy that pays me every paycheck that's cool he sends 150 200 bucks whatever he can afford and i always promise everyone guess what i'll get your money before you get on the airplane i promise you that but yeah um payment plans Absolutely. I don't know anybody that's more organized than Rosie is. So, like, if there's somebody that can handle keeping track yeah. or something like that, like, you are the the one yeah. for it, for sure. Yeah, normally we want, you know, a $1,000 deposit. Six months out, we would like um, half down, and two months out, we like it paid in full. But we work with everyone. That's rad. 
All right. I dig yep. it. Yep. Yeah, I, I thought I had a fun text here. It says, good morning, everybody, uh, especially Rosie and Jeff. I've not fished Cedros yet. It's a definite, here we go again, bucket list bucket adventure list. for me. <laughs> um, I'm always excited to listen to Rosie talk about the, exp- uh, the operation and hearing her positive energy. My question, can Rosie and Jeff tell us a little bit about how you guys came to run such a cool operation and a little bit about yourselves? Also, will you be at the PCS show? I can't wait to try this spot. That's all from Mike and Oceanside. All right, Mike from Oceanside. Yep, we'll be at the PCS show. And uh, I think we are booth 603 or 604. And um, how did I get into this? I actually had an owner of one of the long-range boats approach me and um, ask me if I would, you know, be the general manager of of Cedro Sport Fishing, and I said no for six months. <laughs> said no, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, and and you know he kept on pressing and kept on pressing. He goes like, look, he goes, he goes. He said the same thing. Your energy, your enthusiasm, your knowledge of the business. He goes, I just, I really need you. And after six months, I broke down and he flew me down to the island and said, come and check it out. Tell us what we need to do. And of course, coming from a fish processing background, I, one of the, I was very interested in what they had down there for that, which was a hut. Yes. And, um, it's like, a well, fly hut. A fly hut, exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. A fly farm, yeah. yeah a fly, fly farm, farm. yeah. So, um, so I said, well, I said, you know, can we turn this area in into a building with a fish processing facility with air conditioning and, and all of that? And we kind of went through all the rooms, and I had a few ideas and, you know, what went past him and, and Adrian about that. And uh, they're like, yep, we can do all of that. Then I said, okay, then you got me. Rick and I were fortunate enough to be in the infancy yes. of Cedro Sport Fishing with Adrian and Tom Green. Invited us down, flew the flew us down there, and um, we had to stay in a hotel because there was no lodge. Right. And this is kind of what we're. It was basically this is what we're doing. This is our are idea. We, are we out of out of our own minds? Yeah. Are and, we crazy? Yeah. And both Rick and I. <laughs> Went absolutely crazy. It wasn't even the fishing season. It was April. The yeah. wind was blowing, but there was plenty of places to fish. We had this incredible experience with the people at the island, and you know, and and, and every everything about it. And it was like, oh gosh, guys, you, you nailed you, it. You yeah. got to do this. Yeah, yeah, and 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 it's so much better than that. And here's the thing, that's different than a lot. You know, a lot of places get discovered, and then they kind of the fishing kind of goes downhill because it gets pressured, right? Right. This does not happen at Cedros because it's still the 12 people that you have, even with the other lodges, does not put any pressure on that fishery. No. Yeah. It's 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 a isolated island. There's no uh, other types of fishing boats that go in there. Right, and the and you know the bait saners can't go in there anymore yeah. either and scoop up the bait. So yeah, where there's bait. So it's kind of a protective zone. Yes. Yeah. I I'll want to mention something that you just said too. There there now are plenty of people who copied the idea, and there are now several other. Other operations, there is only one Cedro Sport Fishing. Yeah. And I will say for sure that has nothing to do with any sponsorship, any friendship nope. of Rosie. This is the best operation, yeah. period. And period. You know, and that's Thank a good you, point. Yeah. You cost a little bit more. But why? Because you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. And not only that, but if you compare us side by side yeah. with the other it, ones, w- we're all inclusive. Exactly. The other ones say they're all yes. inclusive, but guess what? You need to get online and try to figure out how to do your Mexican fishing license. I take care of that. Yeah. You need to get online and figure out how to do your FMM visa. I take care of that. Yeah. You have to buy your cross-border express. Nope, I take care of that. Yeah, when you lay out the actual it's cost, all, there, there's everything. virtually no difference. No. Yeah. And no. the difference that there might be is so minimal that it's just, you'd be crazy not to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got to watch the little thing exactly at, at exactly any any lodge you go to absolutely you know i'll give you an example i was just down at anglers inn in, in picachos uh there's a lodge right next door called ron speeds and cory cory said um he'd been there and hadn't been the either one but he said that at at ron speeds you, you oh you want this you got to pay for it you got want this you want to pay for it you want this you got to pay for it you go to anglers inn Everything right. is included. Yeah. It's very similar. That's why I bring that up. It's 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 pretty much the same at Sedro Sports. Absolutely. Yeah, if you look at something and it's got a five hundred dollar lesser ticket price yeah. at the start of things. You think, oh, I'm killer. I'm going to fish the same waters. Why would I not yeah. say five hundred bucks? Ask why. And then and then when you yeah. pay six hundred dollars while you're there, oh right. well, that that's why. Right. Exactly. I could have had the better service and spent less money in the first place. And and exactly. you know. 
the key thing that you just said, better service. Period. Okay, if you go down with us and, you know, at 5.55 in the morning, you're getting into our van to take a short little ride down to you know, the harbor there to, to get on your ponga. Or if you want to go with the other guys, you can go in the back of an F-150 hanging on to a metal rod while you're standing up. Yeah, right. Hang on. Hang, hang on. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, You guys, you, you're, the, you, you're the premier lodge, absolutely. which gets the premier boats, which right. gets the premier captains, That's because right. you have the premier people. The the right. It's just, yeah, it just goes down yeah. the list. It's the, it's it's the operation. Yeah, yeah, get I, what you pay for. Absolutely. When we were working the shows, I used to have a price comparison and and side by side show everyone look this is what you get with us this is what you don't get with the other guys if you add that in the other places were actually more expensive, more expensive. and you know what you still might have to drive down to Ensenada yeah totally oh. Oh. just that alone just Did that, that pleasure that time just, don't, just don't want to go yeah, there yeah, anymore totally. hey uh, great text here from Paul in Fountain Valley he says Pete Rick Rosie Jeff I'm a long time listener who loves listening to Rosie when she's there her enthusiasm is outstanding and explanation is very very clear question I have I have is uh, um, I've been discussing the 72-pound limit. I understand that it includes tackle. Does it also include your reels, or is it possible to have a small carry-on bag? Also, we've heard about issues of flying with reels and with line on them. Is there any problem having your line on your reels? Thanks again. I always look forward to Saturdays and Sundays listening to the show. That is actually one right. another one of my most quest. Yes. You know the questions most that I asked. get asked about um, the reels. Um, so you're not. I mean, you you can't have line on your reels if you want to take them on the plane with you. It's considered... Carry on. In, carry in on. Mexico. In Mexico. Yes. Okay. So, you know, I so tell... So check them. So check them. And here's the greatest thing that that I feel, because it's like, you know, when Jeff and I go down, we got probably three Tranks 500s, two Tranks 400s, Trinidadatorium, and um, mm. a, maybe a Talica. Those aren't cheap reels. Right. Okay, that's a lot of money that you guys have invested in your tackle. Sure. The best thing I love about us is that, you know, we talk about Hugo and Michelle and Jose, our concierge service. None of our gear or tackle goes into the main part of the airport. It is not being touched by anybody else, no baggage handlers in the main part of the airport except for Hugo, Michelle, and just your team. It's just our team. So, so you don't ev- need to worry about no. everything is safe. Stealing yourself. Everything is safe. I'll throw this note out too because I was just doing it. I flew on Valeris, and they allow you to zip tie your bags closed before you check them in. So if you are concerned about checking whatever's in your bag, you bring a little zip tie, a little thin zip tie that, zi- and you can zip tie the closures on your bag that you're checking. In Mexico. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, all good there. Yeah, that 72 pounds, like I said, once again, it does not include your rods, but it does include your reels. Put them in your checked on baggage and we'll get it taken care of. And don't bring 10 changes of clothes. Bring no. a couple and have the, and take advantage of the laundry service. Yeah. And, and you got, you don't need. Do you charge for the laundry service? You know, Floor does that on her own. So okay. Floor takes the clothes to her home where we bought her a washer and a dryer. And, um, so basically she still has to pay for her water. Right. So when you are doing your laundry, remember Floor is buying the soap and she has to pay for water. So, so tip her well. You All know? you need to do is a tip. Yeah, tip her well. Get, yeah. Give her five, ten bucks. Every you know? time I did it, and I don't know if that was light or heavy, but I would do exactly that. I'd, I'd have my dirty clothes at the end of the bed, and I'd throw a five or a ten dollar bill right on top of it, and I would go fishing in the, the day. I'd come back from fishing, and your clothes were perfect and ready to go yeah. the next day. It was, just, it was awesome. Such a great service. I love it down there. Yeah. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including checking in with the catch report. We're going to find out what's biting out there. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way in the Mightier 1090 ESPN. Radio. Hello, anglers. This is Tim with Friends of Rollo, and we are kicking off the new year with another great promotion. Bill Batson and his team have once again donated six amazing custom rods that you could be fishing with this season. These rods are all one of a kind and built with rain shadow rod blanks and Alps rod components. Captain Rollos will be giving away these beautiful works of art in the Batson booth at the PCS show on March 10th. 
Entering the drawing is easy. When you buy five $10 Rollo Grand Raffle tickets, you will get one entry into the Batson Custom Rod Drawing. To purchase tickets, please email win at rollokids.org or call Tim at 951-264-7382. Our thanks go out to Batson Enterprises for once again making this promotion possible. Thank you to everyone for your support of the Rollo program and good luck. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable, from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. This is Captain Brandon Nelson from Lucky Bee Sport Fishing. Our dynamic fishery here on the West Coast is home to some of the most iconic game fish that swim the salty world. We demand tools designed to perform flawlessly and deliver the upper hand in any situation. That's why I use and recommend the all-new G. Loomis IMX Pro Offshore Series of Rods. It's a full lineup of purpose-built 20- to 80-pound class rods. I have been fortunate enough to be working with G. Loomis on the IMX Pro for some time to help develop the actions we need here on the West Coast and they nailed it. The G. Loomis multi-taper design technology adds material where the blank is likely to fail and subtracts material where it won't. A C guide train and Fuji reel seat complement a battle on grip that offers extreme fatigue fighting comfort. They have been helping my passengers on Lucky Bee Sport Fishing land some amazing fish and now they are ready for you. The new G. Loomis IMX Pro Offshore Rod Series at your local Shimano or G. Loomis dealer. Inside information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catin. 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me, if you don't have Fishdope.com, you're not part of the -the in-the-know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code and save $30 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. 